Is the use of pornography the same as cheating? Well, we're going to have to define what we mean by pornography, aren't we? When we think of pornography, we generally think of uh, dirty movies where we see people engaging in activities which bear practically no relation to what normal human beings get up to when they're in bed with each other. But if you ask me, there's a lot more to it than that. And when we talk about pornography, we're generally referring to the male variant, the male type, uh, the overtly sexual, blatantly saurian kind of pornography. Uh, people having sex in a particularly vulgar, crass, and stereotyped way. Well, stand at the checkout counter of any store here in Canada, and what will you see? You'll see a Cosmopolitan magazine right in your face. And uh, usually the biggest words on the cover of that magazine are sex, how to, how to please your boyfriend, your significant other, etc. Turn on the television and chances are you'll bump into some dumb reality TV show um, that is generally loaded with sexual innuendo, or you'll watch a murder mystery which has heavy sexual undertones to it. Um, and most of these things are aimed at a female audience. If you ask me, that is very much pornography, but it's of the female variant, because whether we like it or not, um, in a general sense, the male and the female sexual responses are very different, and what sets a woman off is going to be completely different from what sets a man off. Uh, the very fact that this needs mentioning, um, if you ask me, accounts for uh, a lot of problems in the world in terms of relationships, um, and uh, I don't exclude myself from this because one forgets it, even if you know it. One forgets it from day to day that men and women are completely different. So if you ask me, um, men and women are just as guilty of this sort of thing, if, if this is an issue of guilt, if that's what we want to say, guilty, um, of indulging in pornography. It's just that what constitutes pornography is different for a woman um, than it is for a man. In a general sense, there are plenty of women out there who actually like watching uh, uh, what we call colloquially dirty movies, and I'm sure there are plenty of men out there that like reading pulp romance novels. I've never met any, but I'm sure it does take place. Um, I'll leave off with a quote from a book which uh, is extremely dated, and a lot of the conclusions that it reached uh, are now believed to have been superseded, but um, it's a, a useful quote even to this day, especially for women, if they want to understand men. Male sexual, male sexual response is far brisker and more automatic than a woman's. It is triggered by things. Your clothes, breasts, odor, etc. aren't what he loves instead of you. Simply, they are the things he needs to set sex in motion to express love. This is a very old book but uh, still useful today. Sorry if I stammered over the, uh, the quote. Men and women are equally, shall we say, dare I say, perverted. Nobody's got a monopoly on that sort of thing, and we're both equally obsessed with sex. Our obsessions travel different paths, that's all. Thank you.